Frustrations boiling over at a school board meeting in Bensonville tonight. Parents and students are calling for resignations after allegations of sexual assault at Fenton High School. And WGN's Jenna Barnes was at the meeting and she joins us live with our update. Jenna. Yeah, right. And Micah, these families are livid. They say if the superintendent and other administrators had done their jobs, these allegations that date back years wouldn't just now be coming to light. Fenton High School students, their parents, and even teachers filling the school library demanding the resignations of Superintendent James Ontenko and other administrators involved in what they call a years-long cover-up of sexual abuse carried out by a teacher. If I was your child, I would be ashamed to call you my parent. Among those who spoke is a former student, now an adult, who says the teacher abused her. Out of an abundance of caution because she's a survivor, we are not showing her face. You failed to support me and other young girls who were assaulted and groomed by a monster that you protected, empowered, and promoted as a community hero. As our hero. You looked my parents dead in the eye and told them that I was in good hands here. Now this community says their kids don't feel safe at Fenton High School. The board voted to fire the accused staff member Monday, but we're told he was on paid leave for months before that. WGN News isn't naming him because he hasn't been charged with a crime. Earlier this month, what appears to be a police report was leaked on social media. Bensonville police haven't confirmed its authenticity, but it shows the allegations of sexual abuse date back more than a decade. Being the superintendent, every allegations that was made to the administration and our team, we followed and called DCFS and and, and the police. The superintendent making a brief interrupted statement before the board left the room for closed session. No one resigned tonight. The families say they will be back with the same show of force at next month's meeting if nothing changes before then. We're live in Bensonville. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.